And today I'm going to do something that I haven't done for a long time. We're going to watch some marching videos. Oh, I like your left hand floating. What is that? Is that thumb doing? What is that thumb doing on the left? <laughs> keep telling me the ending is really exciting of this, so... Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, that basically is like, that's what's up. All the way to the audience. Wow. Is that... Li <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you... Is that even allowed? Okay. I'm back. Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam and today, yes, I'm getting back into it. It's a... Let's watch! Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Bradley Carly, Sung Jun Ha, and Greg Harris, DP Newberger, Wendy Tran, and Brendan Williams. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Miguel Davia. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. If you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash antan or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show. Uh, first time in a while, yes. I haven't uploaded on this channel for a while because I have been busy, like really busy for the last couple of weeks. Uh, but most of the stuff is done now and I'll just give you some really fast updates. Ready? Firstly, my percussion and saxophone duo recital two-tone. It's over now, it happened last week. I'm so glad it went ahead. I'm so glad we had a really great audience and I will be uploading videos from that performance onto this channel, including my performance of Merlin. <laughs> Number two, my new mallets, my signature mallets. Apparently they're getting shipped today, like the day I'm filming this video. So they should be coming onto the show very soon. I'm so excited. Apparently I'm getting two different sets of prototypes. And finally at number three, as I'm filming this video today, we just closed our early bird registrations for Marimba Fest, the festival that I direct. This is our third edition. But if you want to sign up, there's still time until mid-May to sign up at marimbafest.com forward slash register. But yes, other than that, it's so good to be making videos for you all once again. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads because yes, I'm still making videos on this channel even though I have to dug in and out sometimes because these days, just a lot of stuff happening. But I'm really excited to share the journey with you and of course, watch your videos that you submit to amtampercussion.com forward slash discord. That is where we submit all of the Let's Watch content. And today, I'm going to do something that I haven't done for a long time. We're gonna watch some marching videos. So here's Big Up. Hey Adam, it's me, Big Up. <laughs> yes, Big Up is one of the mods on the Discord server. Shout out to Big Up. Two videos today, one video of my band and one video of my center marimba camp. Our show is entitled The Steadfast Tin Soldier and is based off the story from Hans Christian Andersen. We are the largest band in our state and have won the last 10 competitions in a row. Ooh. That is like a www win record. That is amazing. I'm probably gonna watch the marimba cam in this selection because he's given a marching band day that's like the full cam and he's also given the marimba cam. So let's watch the marimba cam because we haven't seen a cam on this show for ages. Let's watch. Okay, so as we can see here, we have the mir Wait, why is everything backwards? Oh, because they're facing backwards. Yes, this is the cam, and as we can see, there's a keyboard player uh, behind, so they're all facing behind, ready to turn around, I guess. Um, I've never actually played in a pit myself. I've always wanted to actually try playing in one of these pits one day, but it's just not a thing here in Australia. Uh, but that is a, also a gorgeous sunset in the background. What a place to be rehearsing. Is, is this your school, Big Off? This, this is a really... This is a really nice field. <laughs> anyway, I can see a little bit of Adam's branding from uh, the xylophone. Obviously, I'm a Marimba One artist, but we don't discriminate here when it comes to brands, right? Right? <laughs> but yeah, we've got some Adam's marching gear. I never actually thought Adam's made marching gear. That's very interesting. Uh, we've got an innovative percussion stick bag, and we've got some pretty good gear. I mean, I've always really impressed at how United States high schools have so much equipment, and then high schools over here in Perth, like they have, they're lucky if they have like one four and a third from like a generic brain. Anyway, enough talking from me, let's see B Govs flexing. There were once five and twenty tin soldiers. They were all brothers. Is that Australian narration? All red and blue. That's Australian narration. It's my accent. Oh uh, yeah, we got the head bobbing. Some friendly woodwind playing. I'm guessing that's pre-recorded. Unless they have actual woodwind players, that's pretty impressive. Wow, this this head bobbing would make me sleazy. Oh, here we go. What are those mallets? They look like they look like Wei Chen's mallets from Innovative. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Ooh. This is very nice malahite. Ooh, interesting scale run. Okay. <laughs> yep. Sabian! <laughs> and lots of Gatorade in the background. Wow. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Four malice now. That's some nice Stevens group. Look at that. Look at that grip. That's aesthetic. Is there such a thing as, a, as an aesthetic group? This looks so much more fun than normal wind van. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, woodwinds get it. Okay, I guess they do have actual woodwinds in this band then. Yeah, making you do dead strokes in such a big ensemble, that's... that's almost mean. <laughs> Interesting bar placement. I guess it's more efficient if you play on the sides. Yeah, nice. Oh! Wow, that was a very big crash. Woo, 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 woo! Ah, yes. Wow, big gliss. See, when I was in high school, I wouldn't be able to play like this. My technique was so stiff. Oh, nice tambourine playing. Whoever's playing that tambourine. Let's go. Oh, I like your left hand floating. What is that? Is that thumb doing? What is that thumb doing on the left? <laughs> the famous octave grip. I don't necessarily agree with that kind of thumb grip, but that's okay. I always find it interesting that marching mallets, they don't they don't wrap the mallets with tape. <laughs> Else, a lot of double vertical stroke. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's go. That's a very hard run to get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Feels like the, the rumor maybe is pushing ahead slightly. Uh, that was some interesting block <laughs> B flat major scale. The world's friendliest scale on Marimba. That's certified. Oh, we got some commentary in between. That's pretty helpful. Quiet dots. Subtle dots. Let's go. I swear these are Wei Chen's mallets. They look they look like either Wei Chen or Pius's mallets. Ooh. Bit of a stray F natural there. Gotta have some crush chords. Now we got some Dragon Force. <laughs> oh, that laugh sounds very evil. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, oh, that's, that's great. Could totally get down to that. <laughs> and if that's actually alpaca wool on those mallets, I feel so sorry because it's like flapping around so much. Definitely not made for playing like marching style. My mallets will look like that too. <laughs> nice. It's good playing. It's really like quality playing and. Attention paid to the touch and stuff is really nice. Come on, Wood Rats! You know why? It's because they're not saying it in an Australian accent. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen a marching video with um, woodwinds in it as well. It's been quite a long time before. Oh, here we go, another banger. Certified banger. Oh, oh, oh! That's some pretty decent close mallet work. Yeah. 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 
Wow, those are complicated shapes to play. That's nice. Wow, wow. Headbutt the marimba. I feel so sorry for that mallet that's flapping. <laughs> oh, wow, that's some advanced head action. Now we got some robotic marching. Very nice. Whoa, robot. Whoa. We've even got popping in the front ensemble. That's great. Oh, that's a banger. That's great playing. Yeah, very clear, very articulate, very nice. Not heavy handed at all. It's very tempting for stuff like the sound right? Yeah, it is great energy, I agree. Interesting lateral technique. <laughs> Oh, nice laterals. Nice laterals. Very nice. Man, they, whoever wrote this book really loves their arpeggios. Woo! I, whoa, when did they switch mallets? That was really, really... That was really slick. Alright, come on. B-flat major flex. Great mallet height. Nice. Oh, uh, I like that. That triplet slowdown is really nice. Oh! Bang! Oh, good ending. It's very solid. Yeah, that's very, very solid playing. Well done. Like I said, I haven't actually seen a wind band in a marching setup is that does that make sense yeah because normally in australia when we say you know wind orchestra it's more like those like concert wind orchestras we don't really have ones that march at the same time the mirror playing was really good too really floaty not too heavy handed definitely light where required there was only a couple of things that was a bit like whoa like um the use of the octave grip thumb <laughs> uh, i'll admit i used to be guilty of that nowadays i can play up to like a tenth in each hand with power with the thumb in the correct place but it just takes a bit of time so i guess the octave grip is like a good quick fix um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's when people put the thumb in between the two mallets in Steven's grip. Um, not really the best technique because it means you don't have any control from the top. Um, but some people do it just for convenience sake or just to reach intervals that are really big because some composers are mean. But otherwise, it's a really great performance and it's really refreshing to hear things like clarinets and stuff <laughs> in marching settings because I haven't heard that sound in such a long time. Normally on this channel, it's always about brass flex. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of that performance. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Big Up, for submitting that. All right, on to our second submission, which is from Devon. And it says, All right, so this is the 2008 DCI Championship so none other than Fanta. Oh, 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 oh. Regiment. <laughs> Apologies for low quality, it's 2008, I'm not expecting Ultra HD, yes, I do remember 2008 days, I used to have, what was it, a Nokia 6500 slide, this thing, um, <laughs> yes, that was a very different time, nowadays we have smartphones and stuff, it's like everybody has a nice camera, back then, everyone's camera was potato, the show was entitled Spartacus, and if you've heard of the story of Spartacus, then you know how the whole production fits in, I'm, I think a lot of people have submitted Spartacus to this Let's Watch Marching channel, so I'm really excited to check it out, I'm sorry I've taken so long to check it out, so... Let's watch. Okay, well, here's the video, and I guess they really weren't kidding when they said this was um, not Ultra HD quality. <laughs> this is quite pixely, but that's okay. Uh, I can see we have Phantom Regiment. Uh, I remember they have this kind of like military style outfits. Uh, I'm hoping there's gonna be something really crazy. People keep telling me the ending is really exciting of this, so. Whoa. Oh, it's the camera angle. Oh, he's getting pushed along. I thought he was on like a Segway or something because he was just like zzz. <laughs> Oh, that's great. All right, here we go. Wow, back then Phantom Regiment was so popular already. That's really nice. Okay, okay. Wow, this is the most badass entry I've ever seen. Look at this. It's like, you know what I'm talking about? Oof. Oof, that handshake though. 
You don't want my blue eyes white dragon? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 that's... That's violent. We've got the slow walk. Every time you see bar sections with slow walk, that means something's gonna happen. Oh, we've got a fanfare. The guy in the uniforms is like... I hear this every day. Wow. Ooh, we got the whole like 300 moment there. This is Sparta. Like, hey, hey, hey. We are not filming the sequel of that movie. <laughs> the hype is real. You listen to the crowd, they're just going off. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, okay. So like, you want to play tennis? Nah, nah, nah. I get to play tennis. <laughs> Oh, that's the most badass turnaround I've ever seen. Performing the 2008 program, Spartacus. Grump for International is proud to present Phantom Regiment. Phantom Regiment. All right, let's do it. Go on. That's a very long intro. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, brass flex number one. Let's go. Oh wow, coming in like the universal theme. That is <laughs> big. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's a good groove. Listen to that. This is that pocket though. Oh, oh, yamete, yamete kudasai. Oh wow, amazing, amazing. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Oof, this is so fast paced. The, the, the cadence of their walking is so quick. Look at that. That's a hit workout in itself. Oh, the ballot runs there. Oh, let's go. Oh. Dotted Quave is for life. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's a lot of. Oh, it just keeps going. Whoa! Short and sharp. I like that. This this already looks like it's gonna be really good. Oh, that that base. Wow. Look at those formations. So tight. This is 2008 as well. It's. Very, very advanced. Now we got some uh, cinnamon scrolls. <laughs> All right, sword fight. Let's go. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, oh, that kick though. You are done. You are done. On the floor. Wow, look at that audience. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I should censor that. <laughs> the picture of violence. Oh. Oh, wow. What an emphatic start. That's crazy. Got the slow walk. Well, not really a slow walk, but they're going sideways. Marimba rolls. Ah, I haven't heard this kind of rolling texture in a long time in any marching video. Hey, okay, yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love those cross rhythms. Ooh! That's go run. <laughs> you hear that Zala phone? <laughs> That's 
That's ridiculous. Let's go! Oh, so many good things happening. I understand why everyone's been trying to tell me to watch this. There's a lot of good things happening. Oh! That's some real StarCraft chords right there. Oh, nice. Nice drop to finish. Oh, that person looked like they almost overshot the line. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow! Oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. Oof, oof. Oh, this is a good break. <laughs> How do you even do that? How do you even do that? That basically is like, that's what's up. That's what's up. Huh. Wow. That's only halfway, and that's just. That's bonkers. <laughs> Alright, now we got the slow emotional walk. And the flag in the middle. Lil Flaggy. It amazes me how they can have such a good balance, you know, between like the aggressiveness of the first movement and then this. And look at that mallet height! Oof! Tasty! Got the lift. It's a nice lift. This is very pretty. You wouldn't believe that they just did that crazy stuff from before. Alright, is that a heart? Woo! That's an overhead press, everybody, for all my gymming friends. <laughs> And that's uh, another overhead press. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, he's back. Darth Vader's back. Oof. More violence. Oh, that is a really... <laughs> Oof. That's some aggressive, dramatic action. Wow, that's really good acting as well. <laughs> wow. I think even the crowd was like, what, what do we even do when we see that? <laughs> By the way, if I do end up censoring stuff like that, I'm sorry. Um, YouTube guidelines. <laughs> oh, shield wall. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Why is the field judge there? Field judge just kills the vibe. Wow, there's so much action happening. Oh, oh, this is a... Here we go. Bring it home, Snares. Wow, battery features on point. Oh. Oh. Oh, where's the recipe for brownies? <laughs> wow, look at the brass getting involved. There's so much violence in this. <laughs> Ooh. Ah yes, the warrior has returned. Monster reborn. I have to be honest, I don't really know the story of Spartacus. That the probably the time I would have known about that would have been many years ago, and I'm quite old, so uh, please enlighten me if I'm getting any of these references wrong. Ah, oh, using the cloak? I, th I thought they were the bad people. <laughs> okay, okay. We back. Rebirth! Let's go! Going in hot! <laughs> wow. That is a big brass flex. That's like, what, the fourth one? Fifth one? Alright, so I'm guessing the finish is coming up. This is what everybody's been telling me to watch. Wow. That person's voice travelled so far. Incredible. <laughs> oh, the tension is just building. Feel that tension. That's good writing. 
Oh wow, we'll have to run across all the way to the audience. Wow. Is that stabbing the drum mage? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you Is that even allowed? Is that even like like legal in the rules? They replaced the drum major. What the <laughs> That's truly a you won't believe what happened next moment. What? What is this? Just standing on the, the dead drum major. What? <laughs> what a twist. What a twist. That's more twists than later Fast and Furious movies. What? <laughs> it's not who shot the sheriff, it's who stabbed the drum major. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ladies and gentlemen, in the direction of Rick Valenzuela, get a regiment! That's amazing. What a twist. I would have never expected that in a million years. No wonder why everyone was telling me to watch this, because literally the drum major gets assassinated. <laughs> I didn't even know that was allowed. I thought you had to always have one drum major on the platform all the time. Yeah, it's not like huge brass flexors in your face, but when they did come, they were awesome. And then the tension building up, just the tension, like you just, especially for someone like me who's never really known much about like Spartacus and things like that, like it really was just really tense for me. I was like, what's gonna happen next? Is that gonna happen next? Uh, it's, it's like that, that TikTok meme that's going around, which, what is it? Like, keep them guessing. This is keeping me guessing. <laughs> a really cool ensemble. This is in 2008. Very forward thinking. The marimba lines and xylophone lines were ridiculous. Those two mallet runs like, <laughs> like, that's incredible. I don't even know what to say. That's, that's ridiculous. Thank you so much to everyone who's been suggesting that I watch 2008 Phantom Merger, but this is just a very eye-opening experience. And if you have anything like this that you think I should watch, submit it at adamsandpercussion.com forward slash discord. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and remember to hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching today's episode and I'll see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. So